Right, it, it works. Alright, um, this is my application for build day as a redstone shit. <laughs> I guess I was idling too long. Into the glass house, completely creeper food. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. These bits are gonna work. Nope. Oh, okay. Still a lot of creepers out there, and I don't have any weapons. Anyways, this is a 13-bit lock that I built with J, and um, basically, it's a pretty simple design. It has 2-bit uh, memory cells with 1-bit of read or write at the top, and um, it just writes them all in order based on when you hit the buttons. So. Password for this door is I think it's zero four two zero. Except for I'm wrong. <laughs> there it is. And, um, the door doesn't open unless you put the right password in, which is pretty obvious. So, how it works. When you hit a button, it sends it to these two right with, uh, right channels. Oh, fuck you. No. And, uh, okay, so, right here we have memory, each of these little circles is one bit, so I use that to store the, uh, numbers for the password, and at the top we have the top bit, which says if it's been written to, or if it's root, or waiting to be written to, to. see, um, since all of them have been written to, they're, they're all on the right right now. Which uh, turns those lights on over there to tell which ones you're written to. And um, the red down there, that's uh, decoding the password. And if you have all. Oh! Okay. <laughs> this is kind of interrupting my, uh, my monologues. I'm gonna go ahead and kill these. Purple wool. There you go. I'll fix that later and MC at it. Oh, and um, this whole thing was built in game, not an MC edit. The world, or uh, the giant bedrock room was built in MC edit, obviously, but uh, this is done by hand. Probably took about uh, four hours to do the whole thing and debug. With yeah, Jay helped me with a little bit too. He copied some of my memory and uh, recreated it because kind of duping. And uh, anyway, see so yeah, the red decodes the password, and all this here is writing and um, uh, resetting memory. That's basically all of it. There's also a little bit underground that just uh, resets the bottom memory units. And uh, this is the bit that holds the door. So once you have it open, it stays open until you hit the reset button. Anyways, yeah, just one last demonstration. <laughs> I 
failure to just jump. If you wanted to change the password, it's not actually very hard. You just remove these torches and replace them. It just, uh, these torches describe numbers just in binary. So, now it's all, it's all fours, I think. So password, it's four, 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 four. It's kind of like what the uh, soldier would do. That is, if TF2 was good anymore. Wham. Also, you can enter this just about as fast as uh, the button pushes, and then it'll work. There you go. Four, 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 four. And uh, just to prove that this is changed completely, I'll just enter another password, and until nothing happens. That was just you said. Wow. Can't hit it that fast. Yeah, nothing happens. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, that's all. I want to see my my cloth supply. It's so beautiful. What? I need to do that. Is that a bug? <laughs> I think you put redstone on uh, chests, that's weird.